Demonology was a heavy episode for Prentice written by the lovely Chris Mundy. She gets pregnant as a 15-year-old and has an abortion, and that event sort of sends her friend off into a bout of questioning faith and spirituality, and he starts doing drugs, and now this guy died. And there may be a conspiracy behind it. There's a chance that he could have been murdered, and there might be a second case. What do you need? Just some leeway to check it out. Of course. Anything. Thank you. I honestly approached it thinking that Padgett is such a good actress, and like I really wanted to do something that got to show that off. So what's the story? We've talked a fair amount about her moving around, her having to sort of be different people at different times. So I wanted to deal with that and wanted to deal with where she was anchored and, and how and the different things that formed her. We moved around a lot when I was a kid because of my mom's postings. It was hard to get accepted. And when you're 15, that's all you want. You'll do almost anything. It was very intimidating because it was heavy on me and I, you know, got scared. Oh, can I, acting wise, you know, can I pull this off and be grieving and angry and Prentice is sort of going outside of the laws of the BAU to find information. I understand your frustration. There are some things that we cannot control. Take some time off. What? So it was fun. Well, actually, no, it wasn't fun at all. It's not fun. Like, <laughs> when you're acting upset, at least where I study, you are upset. So it's exhausting. God, you God, God. God. Stop, stop. Uh, God. 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 You, you have to calm down. Please look at me, John. John. Emily. All right, I'm going to untie you. Just stay calm, OK? <coughs> She was amazing. She was so good. And every once in a while, it would be surprising, too. There's a moment at the end of the thing where the priest says to her, Que lo male de Dio sea con te. E con el tuo espíritu. She delivered it with anger, kind of like, get out of here, which completely surprised me and was so much better than I imagined it. She really tracked it from the beginning, from devastation to anger to fear. She was fantastic. I think what she finds on that journey is she does have faith, and that's what that speech is, seeing the snow falling and saying, it's beautiful. These are people that do bad things. And I think her faith is renewed and strengthened for having gone through what she's gone through.